covers of The New Yorker are always beautifully designed illustrations with great colors, nice moods, and they make great posters as well. Even famous comic book artists like Chris Ware have made some. But this is my favorite one of all time. It's by Ever Mullen. Maybe I'm a bit biased because he's also from Belgium. But you have to admit this is an awesome illustration. Today though we're looking at the covers from the first year, uh, so around 1925, and it was full-on art deco times back then, so they didn't use a lot of lines and a lot of negative space. I'm taking these three covers, two by Julian de Miski and one by H.O. Hoffman as examples. First I traced them in Photoshop to get the right line width and uh, to pick colors from. The lines in these layouts are very basic, just one arch and a few straight or curved lines so let's start from there i'm thinking either a boxer a stand-up comedian or a couple doing the tango which was super popular back then so a bit of research for the tango that's rudolph valentino of course But uh, yeah, in the end I went with the boxer because uh, the couple pose wasn't really working out. It's quite tricky to simplify a pose using just straights and curves, especially the arms. Kind of reminds me of the Disney style from Hercules or that Sam Keith Hulk issue where he takes the curves to the extreme. So here we go. Boxer is ready, maybe a yellow background, add an opponent. There was a bit too much negative space, so I made the other boxer bigger. And that also makes the design a bit funnier, a little guy in the corner. The curved rope and the bigger arms on the side give it some depth, which the other 1920s covers don't have. So I guess if I did a quiz and asked somebody which one of these three designs I made, I would probably get caught. But I like the mood and the colors. So yeah, even though this style looks simple, it's definitely not easy. Thanks for watching. Check out some of my other style challenges. Let me know if you have any requests. Thank you.